guys right now i am at my home so yeah i'm just going to fetch a flight to kuwait that is what i'm going to do yeah and yeah i'm just going back to kuwait for a short time for god knows what reason just to stay there and i'm probably stay there for the last time maybe i'm not sure or if i have to work there no clue but uh, right now you yeah, just go in there so yeah this is my house yeah so many odd memories yeah but yeah more odd is my college money so it's very odd that yeah my college almost ended now only few formalities are left so other than that i think my college life is officially over so uh, what else to say nothing much to talk about that right now i have yeah a lot of changes a lot of big changes what more hard to say yeah a lot of people came and went is like so they should be says they poi da one no like that kind of situation happened yeah but i want to say just like my friends always say always focus on the positive that's what i can say <laughs> so i right know my flight is at night but uh, you know about kochi right? so the traffic is there so hopefully we will reach there on time and fetch the flight and midnight by midnight or in kuwait time will be reaching and yeah the condition will be different there yeah next the plane for dubai i think yeah our kuwait plane will come some other time maybe after one hour i guess right now this is dubai plane yeah india you are flying to dubai so i am flying to kuwait so yeah the immigration immigration is a check in and uh, uh, what is it yeah security and all other stuff finished in 20 minutes i thought that the checking counter not open is finished in 20 minutes so yeah and right now in the lounge and i don't know what i'm going to try i have no clue so so yeah this exact me so yeah this is just for now the lounge is very busy and all the cold drinks have vanished now so and just it is something so i can do yeah now just now on air india express landed yeah that time my father was calling me obviously yeah right now and one uh, i think one military helicopter is going to take off i think yeah Uh, I think our plane landed there. Yeah, Kuwait one landed, I think. Now let's see what is. So.
try to launch food i not try everything because i am i don't eat rice much i i eat rice but when i have a option i don't eat rice so i eat a cutlet cutlet was good bread was okay then there was some other something called detox water or something oh my god what was that i have no idea and lime juice was good. it is just like that lime juice we get from jagnashree you know samosa i didn't try and and macaroni macaroni okay that is fine and then yeah it is decent food and yeah i don't pay 300 500 rupees for this but uh, there is something called uh, what is it we have certain debit cards that we are giving access launch access so the only thing you have to pay is the maintenance fee of that card then when you are entering you have to pay 2 rupees that's so i know so ambani or something like this is just this is just the thing we get from opening a bank account that's the only thing so that's why everyone is crowded over here <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know why i'm showing this again and again i like think there are people some people who haven't Uh, seen this airport from the launch yeah obviously there are people who have traveled in this airport but uh, i think some people haven't ca- uh, came to the launch yet so yeah uh, yeah i don't mind the food is still there so yeah about uh, flight yeah it will depart at 9:30 stupid me i thought it will depart at 9:40 <laughs> so 9:30 is the flight time like, okay next left a lot i had a positive in the lot i don't know yeah i didn't see much plane or something i i was like trying to edit this video my god how difficult it is yeah by that time i was editing the video again my father called me my mother called me other than that no one in this world did not call me i think no one is bothered me so i i have no clue why is my boarding not started yet they said you will start on this time i don't know when you start i'm yeah i was i was thinking whether i'll get windows seat or not i got windows seat but at the end end will somewhere behind i want to get any engine so i don't care engine i want to see the window but uh, bear with me my camera shit and the other thing is that it's already night time and all you're going to see some light and rubbish that's why i did not shoot any footage on the from the launch yeah uh, yeah like there was a announcement i have no idea what they were saying now i am now i see that the boarding has started i i don't know i want to get out not my seat <laughs> not my seat my seat is 26 out to wait by 1 to 10 26 says my seat so exit
before 2 a.m. and uh, yeah. yeah actually there was a bit delay like by the time of aircraft reached Kuwait and there were some uh, planes on the way on the on the way of the aircraft we had to wait for that and again again one more delay then we reached the parking lot and when we reached the parking lot then we went to the gate uh, gate that sky bridge then and we went for immigration and the line was hell it was like we went through the arrival tunnel and it was cleared and we went to the counter my god the line was like this much long line we had to go around the entire stair and we went up the staircase and then we reached till gate uh, 23 of the departure uh yeah it was like i thought it would take five years to complete the immigration but yeah then uh Kuwait police decided to uh, change the GCC counter as other nationality counter. Normally, GCC counter, GCC citizens have their own immigration counter, so they can do it faster. But uh, since hey, you know, Kuwait in Kuwait, more people are Indians and Pakistanis than GCC. So obviously, in some cases, it's not logical to only keep a GCC counter somewhere. So they had to, they had to anyway reduce congestion because there were a lot of flights on the way. So somehow we got over and yeah i did not record anything in the airport because i was scared but uh, there was so many police there was already police when, when i entered into the terminal <coughs> so i did not want to take any risk obviously you can see from google maps how the airport is it is not even good i should say because yeah and if you come quite a waste terminal anyway quite a waste terminal is much empty because we are going to fly quite a risk <laughs> we don't have we are not everyone has the money to draw go to every time and all and then so yeah the, uh, it's a very old terminal it's such an old terminal it's still the same it looks the same since i came last time no change really so yeah some of the immigration got over and i went through the uh, baggage claim yeah somehow i got my bag and, and a useless uh, check a final check that one we had to draw fling our bag into the exam machine for what reason i have no idea so then i got out and yeah and then i found my parents in the uh, waiting area yeah so <coughs> it's very really, you know when you're flying when you're flying when you, when you fly over Kerala, you can see there's just white light all over the place but in Kuwait it's Kuwait and in Middle East it's orange actually it's, and that was very strong and I don't need to explain that is that my kids because uh, Kuwait and all have fossil fuel in their bounty and for us Indians we literally have to import from them and we have a very huge ex import bill for that <laughs> so yeah, can, we also have coal but that's not enough actually we have, still have energy scarcity already in Kerala people are having a very tough time because of, of uh, increased electricity demand yeah that's what I noticed and <coughs> the journey has been a bit smooth compared to last time I think yeah and I, I did not sleep in the flight because I never felt to sleep I was trying to pass time by doing something on the phone I don't know anything, I was just doing something. And yeah, yeah, it's very difficult to pass time, especially in night time. And all, uh, but all I can do is just really stay awake and just see and was good to see some cities. I have no clue which are cities where we are flying over some lights. And when it is quiet, my God. Our pilot, for some reason, he literally had to fly around the quiet city. So we could see the uh, Sheikh Sabah bridge, uh, <laughs> Kosave. then we saw the Kuwait Tower, al Tejar Tower, the new uh, center point of Alai. Then we saw a lot of buildings. Then we literally went around Kuwait City, then we landed. Yeah, that, that was the thing. Yeah. There are so many other things. Yeah, this is uh, actually uh, Girjian. So that is like uh, in in uh, in Kerala we have something called Vishukaini turn right for Vishu. So this is like uh, no, I'm not comparing or something. I'm just giving a kind of uh, what is it? Not comparison. Like to understand, like 
ഇയർ ഇൻ 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 മുസ്ലിം കൺട്രീസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഐ ജി സി സി ഗീവ് ഗിഫ്റ്റ്സ് ടു ദിസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓൺ ഈദ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗിർജിയൻ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൺ ഗിർജിയൻ ഐ നോ ഐ ഹാവ് നത്തിങ് ദോസ് ഐ തിങ്ക്സ് വീഡിയോ ഗെറ്റിൻ ലോങ്ങർ ആൻഡ് ലോങ്ങർ ആഫ്റ്റർ മീ റാംബ്ലിൻ അബൌട്ട് ഐ കോൺ ഡു എനി ഫുട്ടേജ് ഇൻ ദ എയർപോർട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ടോട്ട് ഔട്ട് ഡൂയിങ് വട്ട് a better better not to get deported by only because my biggest fear was getting bashed by the police <laughs> yeah you know last time in immigration they literally uh, asked intent on it and what was your lady i did to say like yeah you need to go it and i have no clue what to do next so yeah nothing so we'll see later bye